and all, it is I, Josephine. Now, first of all, hello, long time no see. Secondly, I'm afraid I'm here for a rant. Yes, I know it doesn't happen often that I'm in a mood, but I am. Now, listen, I keep getting all these messages, um, do this for cancer, send a heart for cancer, 100 likes for cancer, share this if you hate cancer. And you may notice I never do it because I don't think it's really going to help cancer, is it? However, how I do help is by raising money. Now, this is my bugbear. Everybody's always going on about doing this, that and the other for cancer and eradicating it and they're sick of people dying, blah de blah right? Do something about it, raise a bit of money. You may notice I'm always sharing fundraisers that I'm attending or helping out with. Does anyone ever turn up? No. Yesterday we did, because our church charity this year, soon coming to an end, is for St Mary's Hospice. So yesterday, and I did share the event on Facebook, we had a cream tea uh, and music afternoon. So you're even getting something for your money. Four quid to come in, free scones, free cakes, free entertainment. What more do you want out of life? And it was full, but nobody that I shared it with was there. Yeah. Yes, that annoys me. Secondly, on the 12th of August, now this is very important and very near to my heart. On the 12th of August, I will post the whereabouts and the times later. I am doing a fund, well, Jojo's World is doing a fundraiser for Acorns Children's Hospice. Once again, cancer, raising funds, doing something positive. Yes, it's in Kings Norton and it's a family fun day. There's going to be one of those wacky photo taking things, popcorn, hot dogs, burgers, candy floss, bouncy castles, me, probably some mascots of some variety, loads of games, loads of fun, loads of dancing, loads of frivolity. All you're going to do is come along, have a bit of a go on the raffle, spend some money, stick a few coins in a bucket, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you've done your bit. So people, stop putting it on Facebook. Please share this heart for cancer because it's not going to do bugger all for cancer. We don't need to raise awareness. We're already aware what a stinking disease it is. Let's do something positive. Let's raise some cash. Anyway, so this fundraiser on the 12th of August is also very important because it's for a family that I first met when they approached me to do this fundraiser, which, of course, I do all my charity work without charging because that'd be cruel, wouldn't it? So, um, yes, so they approached me. They had a young lad who was born very poorly uh, called Brody, and um, he was in, in Acorns, so we raised lots of money for Acorns. Now, uh, was it this year or last year? Anyway, it was, it was recently. Unfortunately, Brody passed away. So this year's fundraiser in August, it will be in memory of Brody and all the proceeds. Everything's provided free of charge by whoever's there. And all the proceeds will go to Acorns Children's Hospice. I really, it would mean the world to me to get people there because I want this family to have an epic day, right? I don't want it to be sad. I want to see numbers getting in the doors. I want to see money raised for a very good cause. So there's my rant. Do you like me hairdo? I did it myself, as you know. So yes, on to lighter things, yes. So uh, it's not all doom and gloom, but you know what I mean? I want you to get off your asses, quite frankly, and do something, yes. But I'm still happy. I'm still Jojo. I don't moan all the time. I'd also like to give a bit of a shout out to my dear friend, Janet Walsh. Yes, Janet, you. And to say, uh, hope you next better soon, Simon. Glad to hear you're on the mend. Right, I'm off now then. So toodle you, chin chin. Ta for now. <laughs>